Hi everyone! So this is for the future tourists of Daegu. So today we are going to talk about T-Money card and Korea Tool card. I'm going to tell you how to get them, what they are good for and what are the differences as well. As you can see, it's very easy to get a Team Money card by any of the convenience stores nearby. About the recharge, you can do that at one of those machines or also at the convenience store. However, you can only use cash, no cards. Now I'm going to tell you about Korea Tour Card. So if you reserved it online, you can get it upon your arrival to Korea right at the airport. However, if you're already in Korea, I would suggest you to go and search for an affiliated convenience store and buy it right there. Now I'm going to show you how to buy and how to use it as well. So let's see, I'm going to the website. Go to the Korea Tour Card website. Here you're going to find a link for the application. And here we go. Then click on the application, download it, and then we are going to have the card. So you don't need to get an actual card. You can just simply use your phone like you were using your T-Money card. Easy as it is. When using Korea Tour Card, you can get access to lots of discount at various places. For example, this little souvenir, I got it on discount as well. Isn't it cool? Now, that's it for today. See you guys, bye! Hello future tourists of Daegu! Today we are going to learn about Dong Daegu Transfer Center. Shall we begin? So now we just arrived to the IKEA. First thing to do, to choose the language. You can have it in Korean, in English, Chinese or Japanese. Now that we are at the lockers for Dong Daegu's transfer center on the fourth floor. Also, obviously, there are a lot of other lockers too. See, it's not a big deal after all. Just look at the video and it's going to be much, much, much easier not to get lost. So, enjoy your stay! Hello, future tourists of Daegu. Today we are going to take Daegu City Tour Bus. I'm going to tell you how you can get the tickets for it, what courses you can take and also what kind of attractions we can see. So if you go to the website, you can check a lot of different courses, but also through the application, it's so much easier to get a ticket. However, today we are going to get it on site.
If you have this one, you can get off anytime, anywhere, obviously where there is a bus station. You can see it goes basically every hour, so isn't it easy? By having this ticket, you can get access to lots of discounts and benefits, including eWorld. If you come to Daegu, I really do recommend you to take the Daegu city tour bus and everything can be seen with only one ticket. So I'm gonna go and enjoy the rest of my course. Hello future tourists of Daegu. So today I'm going to show you how to get around the city using Kakao map and neighbor map. Should we start using Kakao map? All you need to do is go to the settings, then choose subway map. This time it's going to be from Dongdaegu station to Banwoldang station. You just click on them from end to, and right away it's going to show you exactly how to go there and how much time you need for that. Now we are going to try out neighbor map and go right away to Somun Market. We go and input where we want to go. Right now I'm going to write Somun Market. And here it goes. Afterwards you just need to push the button and the route is out. It's going to show you the same way how you can go and also how long does it take to get there. So shall we go and follow neighbor's map? You can use Kakao map or neighbor map when traveling in Korea. Trust me, it's going to become much more convenient, comfortable and easy for you to get around here.